I feel like once you just save up and get yourself a machine, there's no going back. You're gonna be completely unstoppable, and you're, well, obviously, this guy's got a million Hey guys, and welcome back to a brand new Roblox video. Hope you guys are doing absolutely fantastic. Ready for another action pack video. We gotta talk about something today that I'm actually really, really surprised about. Now, in the past, we've played games that kind of explode. They get updated. They explode for like two, three days max. They're on the front page. They get like 10,000 players sometimes. And then all of a sudden, like two days later, they completely disappear and they're back on the list here. Now, just for a reference point, let's look at MMX. So we have first page, second page, third page fourth page fifth page oh my god we were on the ninth page before we found mmx so it's pretty far back there and just as a reference point the other day when we played the game called the snow shoveling simulator it was like the second or third most popular game and that was like a week ago that was before christmas that was before all the holidays and stuff like that but look at this game now it says the snow shoveling simulator still there's a holiday event apparently help santa with christmas holiday event Quest will now save progress, controller support, uh, and some expansions and stuff. We're gonna hop in. Actually, we're gonna see there's 25,000 players playing this. When I first started playing Roblox, uh, like, oh, so, so long ago. All right, so like I said, when I first started playing Roblox like a year ago, 25,000 players is kind of what the top game had. Like Jailbreak or Murder Mystery 2 or something like that was always at 25,000. Before they started hitting like the 60,000, 100,000 records, 25,000 was, if you had 25,000 pl people playing uh, your game, you were the most popular person on Roblox, which absolutely blows me away. And now it's been like a week and a half, they've been uh, just kind of milking the top spot. And I don't understand, I gotta ask you guys, why are people playing this game still? I played it for like probably 30 minutes. I did a video on it and that was about it. Look at me. I'm actually such a noob that I forgot that I can only hold 45 at a time. So we got to go sell. But like I said, um, oh, and there's a shift key now too. Nice. There's run energy. I forget what there was before. Is this a vacuum or something? Looks like a vacuum. Okay. So they did update it quite a bit. But honestly, these games, they never last this long. So I don't understand uh how it's actually this popular still obviously there's something i'm missing and let me know in the comment section down below what am i missing what is cool in this game that i haven't seen so far is the new christmas event the kind of the sole reason why it's staying alive i have a feeling that's a really really good probability that they released the game it blew up and then just as the game started to peter over starting to lose players they dropped their christmas update it's pretty smart it's a strategy obviously they dropped their christmas update and i'm pretty sure that spiked them back up to the top and uh I don't know, I guess people are still liking it a little bit. Maybe they've got something planned or it's kind of teasing it for New Year's. I don't know. Let me know in the comment section down below. I've been seeing this game for so long now and I just got confused. Like, how the heck are people still playing this game? Like, it's, it's insane. It literally is almost comparable to Jailbreak at some of its slow times. Which is unbelievable. Jailbreak is a titan. It's like nothing will compete with Jailbreak. Um, obviously, except for this random game here. Oh, what's up, dude? What's up, dude? What's up, my guy? How's it going? All right, how much cash do we have? We have $250 cash, and we're at 18 19 20 All right, we are going to go and, I don't know, wait till we have maybe $500 cash, and then we are probably... And then we're probably going to sell anything, or sorry, anything, everything, and try to actually get one of these little dusters here. The vacuums, I don't know what to call them, but these actually look really, really cool, and I would love to shovel snow with a vacuum. That, I don't know, it seems kind of weird, but I'm definitely down for it. Wait a second, snow containers. This is a brand new shop. Uh, okay, small. Oh my god, here we go. The medium holds 90. The large, 550. Oh my god, here we go. So the huge one for $5,000 is 550. Then it goes to 1,000 uh, and then to 70. Uh, so group only. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. And $4,000 for that. Oh my god, that's unbelievable. That is so much money. 
We're gonna go and see how much. Oh, wait, hold on. So, there's backpacks, there's Frosty and shovels down here. We're gonna see how much the shovels cost, but I think our big upgrade is going to be the backpack because then we can make more money per trip. And I feel like that's kind of the one thing that we're missing right now. Oh, yes, $900 for the metal shovel. The large push is $2,300. The thermal pad, which is what every or what I was looking at, it's not a, it's not a vacuum, it's not a duster, it's a thermal pad. So, obviously, I guess it melts the snow or still sucks it up like a vacuum. I'm not really sure. Then there is the push blower. Oh, they've added a bunch of stuff. The flamethrower. And then, oh, there is a vacuum. I knew it. Obviously, that guy didn't have the vacuum. This looks more like a leaf blower, but it's nonetheless, it's a vacuum. And then the thermal suit for 500,000. What the heck? Uh, lava spitter for fi or for 100 Robux. And then some other stuff for Robux here at $150,000. The salt bag. Salty. Oh, that's hilarious. That's pretty cool. What the heck is this? Oh my god, I kind of thought it was a uh, an octopus, because uh, I saw it kind of go across the screen like this, and I thought it was a red octopus. It's not, it's Santa's sleigh, but he's actually just hauling, oh look at that, look at that, that's actually so cool. Oh my god, and it holds, what is that, 1200 uh, snow, that's so much man, that's insane. So does this guy... I think he can actually stand still because he has that upgrade. I'm pretty sure if you just stand still, it still collects the snow and stuff like that. Oh, we're full. What am I doing? We're full. We should be selling. I'll be back. Now, the guy that was uh, kind of selling at the same time as me last time, when I sell, you guys see I go plus 5, plus 5, plus 5. When this guy sells, he goes plus 10, plus 10, plus 10. And when people have bigger backpacks and stuff, they make more money per uh, sell. So the guy that was next to me was going plus 30, plus 30, plus 30, which is pretty insane. That's a lot of cash. We're at 385. It's going to take us a little while to upgrade our backpack. I don't even remember what the price was. I'm going to go to like 500 maybe, and then uh, I'll check back in. All right, we're above 500 now. And if we go and check this guy out, so you guys can see that. Oh, wait. Oh, I was totally wrong. Oh, I was totally looking at the wrong guy. Uh, I thought this Jordan guy right here had a million dollars. Apparently, Kaiser has a million or Kizer, whatever his name is. He has a million. I want to see what this guy's name is. It won't even show me this guy's name. I'm trying to look for the Kaiser guy because he has a million dollars right now. I think anyone that has a million dollars... Oh, wait. He's got to be Santa. Yeah, you know what? He totally is. I'm almost guessing for sure that he's going to be in the Santa sleigh. A present has fallen from the sky. What the heck? All right, hold on. Let me zoom out. Let me zoom out. Apparently, a present has fallen from the sky. I'm looking. We're going to sprint away a little bit. We'll sprint. I don't see the present at all. Wait, so... It's got to be an auto. Okay, you know what? It's got to be an auto sleigh. I'm pretty sure because one, there's nobody in the sleigh. Two, it's glitching out super hard. And if you look in the top right hand corner, uh, wait, is this guy? No, he's not. I don't think he's hacking. I think that he's just got, uh, he's paid obviously for something. And I'm going to go check in the snowplow shop to see right now. But I'm pretty sure you can change it so your sleigh, I guess, automatically goes out, collects all this snow that it can, and then comes straight back in. Oh, man, these are so expensive. We got the mini plow, the truck, the big plow, and the sleigh for $225,000. That is pretty cool, though, to have an auto sleigh where you can basically AFK, and it goes out, collects everything, and comes back. I don't know if it auto sells or not. He has exactly a million almost, so I doubt it auto auto sells but it probably comes down to the fact that uh, it takes like 45 minutes oh wait a blizzard is coming snow will generate much faster for a short period of time okay cool cool I think it's a good time to open up the medium oh come on baby what are we gonna do we'll do a blue one oh yeah we'll do blue well I don't think I got a different color holy crap okay I was gonna say um there's a lot of snow right now all of this was completely mined out almost. And you guys can see that these guys with the snowplows, they haul. They literally, well, the guy with the Santa snowplow did like half of this street. There was a, right in the middle of the street, there was like, I don't know, a giant valley of, uh, of mined out snow. And it, it's super fast. It's way faster than anything else, uh, obviously. 
I guess as soon as you can afford, I guess we'll go see what is the cheapest uh, sleigh. Or not sleigh, but you know, kind of driving device. And this carries up to 90 snow too, so we're definitely gonna have to run around a little bit. I think we're gonna get $10 per harvest this time instead of just $5 or like $10 a second type thing. I wanna see how much the cheapest, oh my God. Oh my God, $29,000 for this. That's so, so expensive. Oh, look at that. I called it plus 10 every time. I still can't see this guy or what his name is. I have a, oh no. You know, it's hard to say, man. It's hard to say. There's Jordan right there. I want to see how much Jordan starts making. And obviously, this isn't Kaiser because Kaiser is still getting snow every second. And I'm pretty sure that's why it's got to be him in Santa's sleigh. All right, our next goal is $900 to buy the upgraded shovel. I don't know how much. Actually, we should check right now. We have 255. I'm going to get to the max. We're at 82, 83, 84. We're going to make it to 90 by the time we get to the end. We're going to see how much one, like one harvest, one sell is worth. I totally forget last or uh, what the last backpack sold for. Let me know in the comment section down below. Is it like I'm going to take a guess at like 200? Maybe uh, I'm guessing $200. 255. Let's see. We're at 100 right there. All right. No, it's not nearly the money I thought it was. The last backpack probably made like 50, maybe 60. This one makes like 100 or like 90 or something like that. It's super, super close. But it's not as much money as I thought. Let me know if you guys have experience with, like, the truck and other things like that. How much money do you guys make? Like, look at that. This guy will hold 4300 and he can just drive around the map and collect basically as much snow as he wants. Let me know in the comment section down below how much difference is there between the best shovel and backpack combo to just buying one of these machines here. I feel like the machines are way, way too OP for the rest of uh, the game. I feel like once you just save up and get yourself a machine, there's no going back. You're going to be completely unstoppable. And you're, well, obviously, this guy's got a million dollars just for the Santa um, for Santa's sleigh. I'm pretty sure he could buy Santa's sleigh like three or four times over again. So obviously he's pretty rich, but that's going to be it. Ladies and gentlemen, let me know those two things. Let me know why this game is still so popular because I'm pretty confused still. But that's going to be it. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. Subscribe to the channel if you guys want to see more Roblox, Jailbreak, MMX, MM2. Just more Roblox content. Leave it in the comment section down below what you guys want me to play. I'll definitely reply to you. I'll pin the comment. I'll do all that stuff that you guys like. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Never fade away.